Hey guys, I'm back with another C sharp exercise in beginner level. And uh, let's just jump to the exercise and try to do it. Here, I want you to create a console application in which uh, the console asks the user's name. And when you write your name, the console will read your name, place it in a variable and then uses that variable to say hello to the user okay so first uh, you you prompt the user to write their name the user writes its name his name and then and then the machine reads the name adds it to uh, a variable then that variable is added to another string and the name is displayed on the screen just consider that this expression what's your name is on the same line that the user enters the name okay don't forget that okay I'll put the assignment on the screen for you just uh pause the video take your time do the exercise and i'll be grateful if before doing the exercise you subscribe and like the video thank you very much okay let's jump to the answer uh, when you create a console application this snippet of code is already written for you the console writes a line of string on the screen that string is hello world okay let's just change it into what's your name with a question mark and don't forget this space and after that we need to read the user's name so I'll create a variable of a string type. String type is the type of variable that can, uh, that can store text. So I call it name. So I have a variable that I call name. You can give it any, in any other name you want. And that's of string type. This is the type of the variable. And this is the name of the variable. Types are keywords. You cannot change them but the name of the variable could be anything for example instead of name you can say username and that is equal to now it's time to read something from the console so i say console read line and we don't have any arguments so the console reads a line and whatever that line is the value is stored in username that easy so what shall we do with that value we are going to print it on the console again so i write console write line and we say hello to the user and you see what i do I just get out of the quotation marks okay these quotation marks means we have a string here but we are adding a variable to that string that variable is username and that's it it's the end of the program now there was a point that point was that we want the name the user enters to be on the same line that the question is so instead of right line I use just write. the difference between right line and right is that when you write something the, the line doesn't finish we don't move to the beginning of the next line but when you use right line as soon as you write something on the screen uh, console will finish that line and go to the beginning of the next line so here we use write because we don't want to move to the beginning of the next line and that's where uh, that's where we are reading something from 
the console okay now let's run and see if we got the result we, we are we, and see if we get the result okay here what's your name I write my name and here hello Freddy okay that's it just don't forget to subscribe like the video and don't forget that this is a video from a playlist don't forget to watch the rest of the videos because the video the videos uh, progress from beginner to advanced level uh, programming exercises so if you think these exercises are too easy for you just move on to the next exercises thank you very much goodbye